Hey guys, so I've looked into much deeper than I previously did into investments and different types of investments like real estate. Uh, there is a pending real estate deal that I have. Uh, we looked at real estate agents and they can kind of take care of everything that you need them to take care of. And uh, obviously stocks and bonds, these are things I've always had, but I really never re looked into them too deeply. Now, I think I've kind of broke the code on what is not an investment uh, for most people. Again, uh, people will say oh, it can be an investment only if you maxed out your 401k, you maxed out stocks and bonds, you maxed out real estate. That's not most people. Most people, when Alpha Investment gives this advice, they're A, not going to listen, and B, they're already over leveraged in cardboard, right? They already have pallets of MetaZoo in their apartments, right? So if you don't own a home yet, if you don't own your car, if you have student loans or loans of any type, the last thing you need is to invest in cardboards, but that's the first thing that these people do, uh, these Timmies do. When people promise you a 20x return, that's not realistic. And honest to God, that's not an investment. Uh, that's only really in crypto or multi-level marketing or get quick rich schemes. I own a small business. And yes, I can say that some people can win the lottery, right? Lottery winners. That, that's who wins the lottery. But the percentage of people who play the lottery versus who actually wins the lottery is exactly the percentage of chance that you can win the lottery. Meaning a lot more people will lose than win. And that's MetaZoo. So for every alpha investment who makes millions of dollars buying a $40 box and flipping it for $820, there are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who got into MetaZoo, bought a box for $100, $200, and now their box is $10, $20. So the massive losses are not, or for the majority of players, 99% of players will lose money on something like MetaZoo. The 1% of players, the Baileys, the Argos Anonymous, who, where the hell is he right now? And the Alpha Investments, they will always make money because they got in, quote, early, or they are influencers, right? These influencers always make money. So beyond this interesting little case example of what is when somebody promises you a, a return that is over let's say 200 percent and it's this guaranteed return and there's no risk you gotta walk away from that because there is nothing in life that i found even when i buy magic collections i'm buying at maybe a 70 percent margin or sorry not 70 percent margin a 30 percent margin right and that's buy list for reserve list dual lands. So maybe a, 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 a underground C goes for 800. I'm gonna pay at least $500 for that underground C at least, right? Uh, and 800 is pure retail, which is a price that I can't even get. So what's more realistic is that the underground C is 700, I'm paying 500 for it, 550 even, maybe even 600 depending on what the market is like that's not even a guarantee that by the time I buy it, it's shipped out to me that the card is still worth that much money retail or that's what I can get. So a lot of people are very shocked when because they're so used to hearing about these massive returns and, and they are, I mean, absolutely massive returns, right? Um, that are being speculated. I mean, when you look at Alpha Investment, He's selling these little bundles for $820, which is essentially a booster box. That's crazy to me, right? He, again, you know, distribution cost at the time was $70. He had a special relationship, and since it was so early on, right, I'm sure that his cost was less than $70 per box. And he could have sold a box. That's what people wanted. Uh, people wanted the boxes. And I feel really, really sad for all those people because they're they're thinking in their minds, hey man, we're gonna get rich from this is Pokemon, baby. Look at the price of a Pokemon first edition box. That's definitely Nightfall, right? I mean, it's like me buying Jungle first edition, um, and it was not. It was nowhere. It was nowhere close, right? 
it was um, nowhere close to that uh, that deal, if you will. So that's kind of what I learned from the whole thing was when you're talking about an investment, people are not, I mean, investments are slow. They, they grow at 1% a day and then that's very volatile, right? Well, having had experience in the stock market for three years now, I've uh, 600, I put 600K in and while well, I'm at 600K now, I don't know how much I put in, probably like far less, but it like for it to go up one point or two points is like crazy. Like, it, but, but like these people are saying that these things, Meadows do can go up 20 times, 20 hundred points. It doesn't make any sense, guys. Like there's no, nothing that goes up even 100% a day. Like, you know, I've never even seen that across, you know, obviously I track more than just the stocks I buy, but across the S&P 500, which of these 500 stocks can go up 100% a day? I, I don't think any one of them can in a single day, no matter what the event is, right? Oh, a meteorite hit and it has a bunch of lithium or something. It, it, you know, the, the video is still not going up 100% a day. It might go up 20%. 10% is the most I've really seen from Tesla. And But it's not like uh, this. It's not like MetaZoo where suddenly a $40 booster box goes to, or a $100 booster box, the Kickstarter edition, goes to $10,000 overnight. It, it's not, and then they can continue to print more of these booster boxes, right? And that's what they did, and they gifted them to influencers. This is pretty disgusting, you know. Now that I have a better understanding of investments um, via, you know, actually making them, seeing them go up and down, trading them, and so on, I can, I realized that Meta Zoo was just, you know, anything pitched to you. As like, wow, this thing is getting where everyone's gonna get quick rich. Most of you are going to be poor. Most of most of that thing is going down to zero. And I can give you more examples. Uh, I think there was like Ascendant. There's some other games Rudy promoted that have now been deleted. That's kind of the mo for our dear friend Alpha Investment. He promotes a game, makes his millions, then gets out, and then deletes all the videos. There was another. It was like Ascendant. Maybe it, it was like some other game that he was promoting. I remember uh, seeing one video and now that video is gone. Maybe it's still up, maybe I'll look for it. But MetaZoo was always a scam, guys. It was never a legitimate thing. Um, legitimate companies don't say we're going to 20X our value or hey, our $100 box became 10,000, therefore you should buy our Nightfall box because that thing could be 5,000 at least. We the next Pokemon. How many times do you hear about that? We the next Pokemon. Well, Pokemon's still kicking it, and uh, they have an anime and a video game, and you do not.